welcome to its traffic this is the simple question paper of computer science practical examination here first question is from ms access you have to create a database in ms access and enter five records after that few simple questions which may come from c programming the first program to find out the simple interest and second question to find out the area of a rectangle then uh, find out the area of a circle after that to find the greatest of two numbers after that for five marks viva and i have added few more questions which may come in in your examination you can go for that also and please remember these are these are just a uh, suggestion i am not sure that whether these questions are coming in your examination or not so if you want to score better mark if you want to do well in practical you go through all the example that are provided in your book and let's uh, begin with the c programming so we'll do the c programming in code blocks at first we'll take an empty file and after that we'll come to the status bar and we'll change the language into c and c++ and at first line we will write the header file include stdio.h after that we will write main function and while you are write include uh, please keep in mind the spelling should be stdio after that dot h and there is no space after that main function there you will write int main and you will keep simple bracket after that come to the next line and put curly braces and you will notice that while you are writing the starting bracket the ending one come automatically do not remove that it uh, it is necessary and after that will declare the variable as we are calculating simple interest so we'll require the uh, three type of variable uh, will require at least four variables principal rate time and to store the simple interest we'll need one more variable that is si now here you can see principal can be a floating point uh, rate also can be floating point time most of the time we take as integer so we'll take time as integer at first we'll take input for principal so we'll write enter principal after that in next line we'll write scanf function and there we'll take the out uh, value for variable p so the format will be percentage f as we are taking input for the floating point variable so percentage f and m percent p as we are storing the value inside p and after that we'll copy this two line because we have to take also input for r and t so we are not going to write multiple times we'll paste it two more times so now here just we'll change the message instead of principal we'll write rate and in one we'll write time and here we'll take the time as integer so we'll come to the next line and take int t means time will be integer and other two will be floating point and here now next we will take uh, enter time and we'll scan here percentage d as it is a uh, integer variable and the variable will be t and after that we'll take uh, input for rate rate will be floating point now we'll write formula for simple interest so we'll write simple interest equal inside bracket we'll write p into r into t and we'll come outside the bracket after that we'll write divide and here we'll write 100 and semicolon after that we'll have to display the value of si for that we are going to write printf statement in printf we'll write printf simple interest equal percent d and the variable variable will be not percent d percent f and the variable will be si we are writing here percentage f because we are taking simple interest as 
plotting point not an integer so Now we will compile the program. So we will go to build menu and he, from here we will select build and run. Or we can also use shortcut key F9. So after that it will take a um, little time, one to second after that we will get the output window. Here we will write at first uh, the principal, let the principal be 50,000. And after that it will ask me time, let the time be 12 months and rate let it be 7.5 percent and after that press enter and you will get the simple interest and it is 45,000. so this way we can calculate the simple interest after that we have one more program to find the area of a circle and it is already given in book in example you can see that program and you can practice it and if you do not have a computer to practice the program you can also use mobile uh, you can download the app coding in C and you can practice it there now we are going to do the next program to find out the area of a rectangle so we are going to take a new file we'll take again the same process empty file and we'll change the language into C and C++ and after that We'll write the necessary part. Here we'll take three variable int, l, b and area. And after that uh, we will take input as I have copied this two line already so I will paste just and will change the message here we will write instead of principal enter land and in scanf instead of percentage f we will write percentage d and also ampersand l because our variable is l again we will paste it one more time and here we will write enter breadth and we will write percent d and here b as I have copied here so I can directly paste it but uh, while you are doing in school or while you are doing in exam at that time you have to write yourself so keep in mind after that we will write the formula for area that is uh, area equal l into b and we will print the result. Now we are going to practice the next program. Here we will find out whether a number entered by the user is positive or negative. We are going to do in the same program. So we will cut two variables and just we will take one variable as num and we will uh, remove the unnecessary part and here in printf we will write the messages enter a number. And also variable will be uh, instead of l it will be num as our variable is number. And after that we are going to write if statement. So we'll see how we'll write it. Uh, we'll come to line number seven and here write if num greater than zero. If num greater than zero, then we'll uh, press enter and you will see printf come little right hand side. Do not remove it. Write it as it uh, this way only. And here write printf 
percentage d is positive and uh, comma num here instead of percent d we are displaying the value of nums that means if we write the number as 5 it will come as 5 is positive and else if means we are writing one more condition if number is less than 0 then we will display the messages the number is negative. So here is the output, at first we will write a positive number and check uh, minus 4, minus 4 is negative. Now we are going to do one more program, here we will find out whether a number entered by the user is odd or even. So first line will be same, first uh, 4 or 5 line will be almost same, so we are not going to remove that in if in, uh, instead of num greater than 0 we will write if num modulus to double equal 0 here modulus operator help us to find out the reminder means we are dividing the number by 2 and checking whether reminder comes 0 or not if the reminder is 0 then we will uh, assume that the number is even and if the number come other than 0 then the number is odd so here we will write percentage d is even and in alpha here we will write percentage d is odd and in else part we don't require any condition so now we will compile the program and check at first we will give an even number and check whether it is come as even or not and after that we will uh, we'll provide a odd number and check whether it will come as odd or not so this way we can do this program now we will come to the ms access part how we can do this program so to do this program we need uh, one application or software that is Microsoft Access. You can use any version either the 16 or 14 one or 2007 one. I am going to use it here the latest one. So this is MS Access 2024 uh, I hope 24 forgot the version name. Uh, at first we will click on blank database and after that uh, we will get this window and here you will see on the left hand side at top just after the toolbar there is one option that is view here you will get two option design view and data sheet view you will click on design view because while we are creating the table we always take design view so we'll click on design view and after that you will see one window will appear there we'll have to give the name for the table and after that we'll click on ok just after clicking ok one window will appear there we'll have two column and one column name will be field name and one column will be data type now whatever data types uh, field names are there we'll write and we'll also select uh, the related data types So after selecting the data type, we have to enter data 
for that uh, we'll go to again view and we'll change the view into data sheet view because uh, the data can be entered in a table using only data sheet view and after that we'll click on yes to save the table and we'll do full screen to enter data inside the table so here you can see we'll get uh, some cells where we can write data so we'll write the data here and it is almost uh, same like ms excel you can just write the data in line wise and as according to the question you have to add five records so you will write five lines of information the information can be anything you can give anything there So this way you can do the MS access part. MS access is the easiest one. Once again, I am showing you the question paper. So this way your practical question paper may come. It may be different also. I don't know what questions are coming from the board. So these questions you can practice for your practical examination.